Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly reading for October 9th to October 15th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up for you. I am going to use these three decks and I have pre-shuffled them. I'm just going to shuffle them a little bit more. Now this may or may not resonate with you as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. So bits may and bits may not. Feel free to join my uh, group. It's a live feed. Uh, it's Spiritual Guidance Live Feeds on Facebook. And I will be doing free mini readings there daily. But if you'd like a private reading and definitely want to get your name called, then just to send me an email. This is for Gemini, and now it's time to deal. This is my Crystal Visions Tarot deck. I do have an About Me video as well that you can check out if you want to see how I do the readings and more information. If you want to find that in my lineup, it's there. basis of your reading is the three of swords so you could have some regrets this week or some rejection some grief over something that's the basis of your reading boy that's zoomed in pretty darn good isn't it um i guess i don't even have to touch it so anyway the three of uh swords is the basis of your week which tells me there's some stress okay there's some heartache and i do apologize but i gotta go turn the washing machine off otherwise it's gonna get really loud My apologies. I'm not going to start it over because it looks so good. Um, not that it's great because I haven't dived into it yet, but it looks good. I do see that we, do, we could have some um, new love if you're not in a relationship. If you are in a relationship, there could be, you know, a resurgence of a relationship where your commitment uh, moves up another level. I see a lot of happiness. Um, we have a lot of kings and we have a lot of queens here so we have a lot of people in your life that are affecting you this week there could be some gossip somebody could be moving out of your life definitely somebody could be moving out of your life or you could be pushing them away saying you know what I don't want to do this anymore just leave even if it hurts, I feel like you're, you may be pushing somebody away. Um, it feels like you want to be more practical. You want to be reasonable. You don't want to play games anymore. There's been a lot of heartache, a lot of sadness, a lot of worry, a lot of depression. Um, it seems like there's been some kind of delays. Things really haven't been happening. And now you're like, you know what? I'm done with this. I can't be a part of it anymore. Either you leave or I'm going to do something about it or you or you you tell the other person to leave or you actually leave okay um, I think that a lot of you are probably thinking about somebody from the past could be somebody from your family could be somebody that you grew up with um, could be somebody that you dated a very long time ago and you're really thinking about them and you may have feelings for them and they could be impacting your week um, I think that there's definitely, for those of you that are single, you may be interested in a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here quite a bit, um, but we do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio most prominently. I see that it's time for you to make a decision. Something has been weighing you down, and I think it's time to finally do the right thing, okay? Whether it's helping somebody out or pushing somebody away, whatever it is, I see that you need to do the right thing for you, okay? And I think that you may be, I mean, you could be pushing away a family member that is holding you back, okay? Um, or it could be a partner, all right? 
Um, there's a lot of depression, and I'm not sure why, but there is. There's, there's either rejection or regrets that you have. Um, and I think that your intuition is right on. I think a secret is about to be revealed, but you know what the secret is. Perhaps uh, you've known about it all along and it's come to the point where it just can't be hidden anymore. It needs to come out and somebody needs to leave the situation. All right. Um, it leads to happiness. Okay. We have some happiness here, but the, the happiness comes after you cut somebody out. And I'm sorry to tell you that, but that's what I see. Somebody needs to be. Um, you need to remove yourself from a situation, okay? Um, and it's been holding you back. It really has been holding you back in some way because it's been causing you a lot of sorrow, all right? Um, there could have been some um, very opinionated words, maybe some um, conflicts with somebody. Somebody could be very jealous of you. And you're just like, you know what? I don't need this drama in my life. Goodbye, okay? Um, and you've held on to it long enough. You're, you just, I think you're coming to a point where it's more about love, okay? You're just looking for peace, all right? You're looking for peace and harmony. You don't want this conflict anymore. And you know something, you know the secret, whatever it is, it's about to come out. You might be the one to reveal it because it's really been, yeah, um, impacting you. You're very intuitive at this time. Listen to your thoughts. Listen to the, your dreams. Pay attention. Do not doubt yourself, okay? We have a few sixes. It's time to get your life back on track, and I think a lot of many of you are doing that. Um, let's see what we get with this deck. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the High Priestess again. Remember I was telling you that some secret is about to be revealed, but you probably already know what it is. I think that a lot of you have been getting these little messages or really paying attention to your intuition and you know something and it is about to be revealed, okay? And it really isn't a secret because you already know it. Yeah, I, with this Five of Cups and this Eight of Cups, a lot of you are leaving a situation or pushing somebody away saying, you know what, I'm not going to be a part of this anymore. If you want to be rude and you want to be mean and you want to go down this path, you do it, but I'm not going to be a part of it. This is taking control of the situation. This is an Aries. So a lot of you might be dealing with the Aries. We have Aries here, both. But this is also Leo Sagittarius. But anyway, this is about remaining in control, remaining, keeping organization in your life. You may be focusing on your family, and this secret may be impacting your family in some way. And you're just like, you know what? You're the protector. Go away. All right, here we have a soulmate connection. So, like I said, some of this may resonate and some of it may not. Some of you may be pushing somebody away because there's another connection that's deeper, you know, and you're looking for this true love. You don't want drama anymore. You're not going to stay stuck in a situation that um, was going nowhere, okay? And you're, I think a lot of you are thinking about somebody that you knew as a child or dated a long time ago, all right, or somebody in your family, all right, is really impacting you, but it has to do with love, okay, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, quite a bit over here, so I think a lot of you are probably interested in somebody, or with somebody, or talking, or we're talking about somebody who has a lot of water in their chart, or a lot of fire, or a lot of earth, I mean, we have them all, we really do, so it could be any sign, but I think there's definitely some gossip, people talking about you and you may have choices you may have some a choice between one or two or even three people because we have a lot of people here I think there's a lot of people involved and a lot of people are stating their opinions and it's like you have to do the right thing for you that's why the justice card is here it's saying just be honest just do the right thing for you it doesn't matter this person is really has a lot of pride and the worried they're worried about what everybody else thinks I think this card comes out that says no put your family first Put your fur, fur, your yourself first. Don't worry about all the gossip and what everybody else has to say. Like I said, I think there's another. There's choices. I think a lot of you have a choice, maybe between, you know, uh, 
It could be between two partners, or it could between a, be between a child or a family member in your partner. It could be, be between two children. But there's definitely some drama, and you have to remove yourself from the situation and walk away from it. All right, this is it's supposed to be a love reading. We're going to see what we get with these. I, the, with the Three of Swords being the basis of your reading, there's definitely some hurt this week and some depression and sorrow and grief over something. And it's been holding you back. And I think it's because you know that you, and that's the high priestess you have it twice. You know what you need to do. You need to you need to dismiss yourself from a situation. All right. And say, you know what? I'm done with this situation. Just I'm sorry, but I can't help you. I can't be a part of it anymore. I have to keep things in control. I'm the leader. I can't have this drama. And I really don't care what, what anybody else has to say because I know and I matter. I know what's right for me. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what you need to say. We're going to get three of these. This is leaving something behind again. Oh, my God. We have these twice. Son of a gun. So this is the Five of Cups, this is the Eight of Cups, and this is the Seven of Pentacles. It's like, you know, something was an illusion all along. It really wasn't an illusion. It was true, but it was like it was all fake, okay? These are both breakup cards or leaving somebody behind. I started this reading without with you need to leave something behind, and that is the truth. You need to walk away from a situation. There's no doubt about it. Things not turning out the way you'd hoped. Not seeing positive in a situation or crying over spilled milk. This is this is the this is a breakup card, okay? And it could be a breakup between families, lovers, who you name it. A job, it's a walking away. And this one is too. You have both of these cards twice, okay? So I see that you're gonna be or you need to, and it's gonna cause hurt because the three of swords is the basis of your reading. You need to leave a situation. Eight of water, the desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful. No shit. That's what's going on. Seven of Pentacles. Seeds well planted. A temporary pause in action. There has been a temporary pause because nobody's been doing anything for fear, you know, of what's going to happen and for fear of the pain, you know, and just because it's, it's difficult to walk away. It's, there's unnecessary worry here. That means that you can do it. You, you're just, it's like drama, okay? It's going to hurt, but I think it's time to walk away. This is what I have, Gemini. I will talk to you later.